Well, hello, YouTubers. Today's little segment is about a typical furnace sequence of operation for induced draft type furnaces and how they operate. And the first thing you want to do is make sure it calls for heat, which you've already seen that I did. And the next, next thing you should need to do is to make sure that you have the power turned on on the side of your furnace. You know, some furnaces have these switches that, uh, that are placed in there. In the next sequence of operation, the, the induced draft fan should start up, which is this fan here. And as you can see, this one's made out of plastic, so you know it's a 90 plus furnace. And after you go through a purge cycle, the uh, pressure switch should be satisfied. And as you can see on this furnace, this is the uh, tubing here that shows the uh, pressure in the furnace, which goes through this guy here. And that's the pressure switch that uh, sees if there is a, uh, a negative draft in the furnace so that it can start off. And once it's satisfied, this time purge goes through, which takes about 15 to 30 seconds. The electronic ignition or glow plug will then light, and which should come on here shortly, any minute. So this furnace can start up. And any second now, you're going to see that. So, this furnace, it's hard to tell, but you'll see that there's a flame in there. And that flame heated up the heat exchanger. And once the heat exchanger warmed up enough, the actual blower motor takes the air in the house and, and blows it and warms it to the rest of the house. This temperature is is monitored by, monitored by this uh, fan control switch and I can hold it steady enough here you can see as the temperature rises the switch came on and there's actually three settings on this. You have a fan on, fan off, and a uh, high temperature limit. 